Good day, everyone. Welcome to this, another lesson in mathematics. Today, we will be doing algebra. Let's take a look at our objectives before we get into it. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to find what the unknown represents when it replaces an add-in. Select or write the appropriate end sentence in a problem situation. Now, let's examine these pictures. Look closely at them. What is happening in the first picture? What is happening in the second picture? The lady is riding a bicycle with two children on it. She's trying to maintain her balance. In order for her to maintain constant movement, their weights must be equally shared or distributed on the bicycle. This will help to maintain their balance. In the second picture, the little boy is holding a bucket of water on his head. In order for him not to spill any of the water from the bucket, he too must maintain his balance. What do you think balance means when solving problems in mathematics? Today, we will find out and we will be balancing some mathematical problems. Let's find out. Now, here on the table, I have a bean balance. Now, I'll be using this bean balance to show you how we can solve problems in mathematics. Now here I have an envelope with some little counters in it. You don't know what amount of counters I have in my envelope. Now I'm going to place this envelope with the little counters in it on this side of the balance. What do you notice? The balance tilts down. Let's see if we can balance it. Now I'm going to place two more counters on this side of the balance scale. Now we're going to place counters on the other side to ensure that it is balanced. Is it balanced now? No, it is not. Let's go and see what amount over here will help us to balance the scale. Let's place our counters. One. Two, is it balanced? No. Three, is it balanced yet? No. Four, is it balanced yet? No. Five, is it balanced yet? No. Six, is it balanced now? Let's give it some time to settle. One more. Is it balanced now? Let's check now to see how many counters we have in the bag. In the envelope, we had five counters. So on this side, we have totally what amount of counters? Two. I placed two extra counters there. Along with the five, we had how many counter? We have how many counters in all? Seven counters. We have seven on this side, and over on that side, we also place seven. So seven is equal to seven. But do you think we could write a number sentence for what we just did? Remember, we had some in the bag, which is in my hand now. Some right here on the balance and also the amount over there that tells us what balance is what is here which says what it is equal to let's now see if we can write that number sentence remember we started with two yeah, 
and on that side I also place the envelope the envelope is what represents the unknown now in this case I'm going to use the letter N to represent what was in the envelope so it's 2 plus N and what was the total amount we had on the other side 7 so that is equal to 7 now this is how we would write the number sentence to represent what we just did N could be any symbol we could use the letter Y or P or M in this case we are using N which represent what we had in the envelope now boys and girls we're going to look at the steps that can help you to solve this problem step one think of what to remove to get n equal for example in the in the problem we had 2 plus n equal 7 if we are to get n equal in this situation it would be n equal 7 so what do we need to get rid of we need to remove the 2 step 2 remove it by doing the opposite operation addition is the opposite of subtraction in this case the opposite of addition is subtraction so we are going to subtract if you look closely here you'll still see your problem 2 plus n equals 7 however we are taking away the 2 from both sides of the equation If you look closely here, if you look closely here, you will notice that we are taking away 2 from both sides of the equation. Step 3. Do that to both sides. 2 take away 2 plus n equal 7. Take away 2 and n gives us 5 n equals 5 let's try the example that is on your screen b plus 5 equal 8 remember we are going to think about which of the add-in we should get rid of so we have b equal 8 so here we go b plus 5, we're adding here, so we're going to take away 5 equal 8. And because we took away 5 here, we're going to do the same thing over here. Let's solve it now. We have here B plus 5, take away 5, equal 8, take away 5. B 5, you have 5 things and you give away 5 things, so nothing is left. Equal 8, take away 5, 3. So we'll have B is equal to, this is 0, so B is equal to 3. Do you understand that boys and girls? I hope you did. Now let's think of a problem situation where we could use the steps we learned earlier to solve. Let's look at the screen. John has five marbles. His friend Marlon gave him a few more. He now has nine marbles. Can you write a number sentence to show this? Remember, he has five marbles. His friend gave him a few more, a number in which you don't know yet. So you are going to use a letter of the alphabet or a symbol to represent the few that he got. But he now has a total amount of nine 
marbles. Let's see if you can write that. I'll give you a few minutes to do it. I hope you got the answer that I got. 5 plus N or whatever your choices of letter that you choose equal 9. Let's review our objectives. Were we able to find what the unknown represents when it replaces an add -in? Yes, we did. Did we select or write the appropriate end sentence? in problem situation we did i hope you had fun doing this lesson see you next time around